chuo kikuu cha teknolojia cha Dedan Kimathi kimeandaa kongamano la kutoa mafunzo na mawaidha kwa wanafunzi waliofanya mtihani wa KCSE mwaka uliopita na wanaojiandaa kujiunga na vyuo mbalimbali. Mafunzo hayo yanalenga kuelimisha kuhusu jinsi ya kuchagua kozi zinazoendana na hitaji lililoko nchini na hataki mataifa. Waandalizi wa kongamano hilo wanasema waliwalazimu kuandaa kongamano hilo baada ya kubaini kuwa wanafunzi wengi hufanya kozi wasizozitaka. Clement Masombo yuko chuoni humo kufuatilia kongamano hilo na sasa tuungane naye moja kwa moja. Clement kwako. Sana hadiani kweli kwamba niko katika chuo kikuu cha teknolojia cha Deran Kimathi hapa kaunti ya Nyeri ambapo eh, kuna hili kongamano la kutoa mafunzo au mawaidha tu kwa wanafunzi ambao wako katika shule za upili na vile vile wale ambao wamemaliza mtihani wao wa KCSE na wanaojiandaa kujiunga na vyuo mbalimbali kufanya kozi tofauti tofauti na kama tu ulivyosema ni kwamba waandalizi wanasema waliona kwamba ni vyema kufanya hili kongamano maana wanafunzi wengi wamekuwa kifanya zile kozi ambazo wengi ha wa hawakuzipendelea hawaku na nitakuwa nikizungumza na baadhi ya wale ambao wamefika hapa watueleze hapa unapoona hapa ni katika ki, ki, sehemu moja ya wale ambao wako hapa kutoka chuo kikuu cha Dedan Kimathi e, hapa ni wanasema ni shue, e, wanaita school of engineering hapa ni wale ambao wanashughulika na mambo ya uhandisi tu peke yake nitakuwa nikizungumza na mmoja wao karibia hapa ndugu njo 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 hapa tuseme na wewe tueleze jina lako nani na katika hii dare yenu ni mambo gani mnafanya naona hapa ni mbao tu mtu akiangalia ataona ni mbao tu zimeja hizi ni, ni nini hapa so asante uh, sana eh, kwa majina naitwa Livingstone Mbinji nafanya civil engineering uh, we are under umbrella of uh, engineering in the Ndade and Kimathi University so today we are showcasing our our we are showcasing our our practical part of what we have been learning here hapa kuna electrical engineering display down do you have a model here we also have another model here for electrical engineering we also have hapa uh, hivi uh, kuna ya civil engineering na uh, civil engineering kuna ya water aspect kuna ya geotechnical aspect na ya kuna structural aspect kwa hapa hivi tungeweza ku display zote sababu most of our machines are so large ziko kwa our laboratories but uh, we were privileged to to, to 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 showcase what we can carry uh, to our own site thank you so much shukran sana tuzungumze na jamaa ambaye anashughulika na mambo ya umeme hapa utueleze hizi nini ambazo tunaziona hapa anza na jina lako uh, My name is uh, Jonathan Kinyo Njiro, a senior technologist, electrical and electronics engineering department, and uh, I'm here representing or presenting some of the projects that we do in our laboratories. So the first project we have here is a pro application of smart proximity sensors, which can be used in distance measurement for object, you can use them for level sensing maybe for water liquids in an industry and uh, the likes so here we are demonstrating the water level sensor down here we have the proximity sensor as i move my head you can see that it is sensing the distance and as the distance is either if my hand is going down the, the distance is increasing so it's counting the distance from where the sensor is so it tells you if the distance is too far or too close if it's too close to let's say you're parking your car and you're too close to the end of the parking lane hiyo technology inasaidia kwa upande gani uh this one can be used in uh, various ways number one uh, smart parking systems where you do not need to have somebody there to look for you telling you come come stop so this is smart parking system it can also be used in uh, autonomous vehicle driving where the car will be sensing the the cabs the distance from the car in front and the one at the back so that it automatically tells you that the distance is too close so observe your distance those are some of the smart applications for the sensing system distance sensing system yes then uh, again we also have uh, smart traffic lights the smart the smart traffic lights we are trying to show showcase an aspect where Uh, as the world is evolving towards smart technologies we do not need to have police officers at the roundabout and all that so here we have uh, the control module then we have two two lanes which are crossing and in each case we have the traffic lights 
and uh, we also have incorporated some infrared sensors to sense which lane has got more cars that is now the density of cars in a given lane so that the lane is given priority yes nam shukran sana e, nipe mda pia nizonge hapa nizunguza na wenzenu hapa pia ambao pia wanashughulika tu na haya mambo ya uvumbuzi hapa wanasema ni innovation center wa shughulikia mambo ya uvumbuzi wa mitambo aina mbali, mbali na vifaa mbalimbali vinavyotumia teknolojia e, karibia hapa tuzunguze na utueleze jina lako nani idara ipi na ni mambo gani ambayo mnafanya hapa Oh, kwa majina yangu naitwa Beth Gishanga. Mimi ni mwanafunzi wa uhandisi wa telecommunications na mambo ya stima. Na kama mnavyotazama hapa, tunafanya projects kadhaa ambazo ni za kusaidia kufanya mambo kadhaa katika society. Naangalia kama natazama kama hawa e, e, wanafanya e, domestic transformer wakati ambapo tunataka kupata stima pale nyumbani. E, tunasaidika wanatumia transformer ili kupawa some of the things zenye zinatumika kwenye household items. Kisonga hapa unapata yule anafanya yeye yeah, hapa. E, wakati ambapo kuna kuwa usiku na si lazima maybe uh, pengine hakuna mtu uh, wa kuenda kuwasha stima ama uh, pengine ni mahali hapa kama institution wakati ambapo unataka kuwasha stima automatically maybe mtu akipita stima ina, inawaka. Kwa hivyo hiyo ndio wanafanya hapa eh, kusha hawe anafanya mambo na robotics ambapo ana control hiyo gari akitumia mkono wake kwa hivyo ata, ataonyesha eh, hmm. uh, wakati ambapo anai control akitumia mkono kwa hivyo uh, kama anavyofanya aki unia ana control automatically tunaweza sema kama hii ni ya kutengeneza kama zile ambazo watoto wanatumia ama ni uh, inaweza pia tunlo jambo inaweza kutumika pia katika uh, ile viti ya magurudumu wheelchairs ambapo unataka ku control huyo mtu automatically bila kumskuma ku, ku eh sasa hivyo ndivyo inavyotumika eh vile anavyofanya ndivyo inavyofanya Eh. Eh, eh, kuna hii ya mwisho uh, ambayo ni parking smart parking wakati ambapo gari nakaribia kwenye parking unapata ina mark kwamba hiyo parking space isha kuwa occupied kwa hivyo hautahitajika haitahitajika mtu kuja ku, ku ama kusumbuka kujua kama kuna parking spaces ambazo zimebaki na hii teknolojia ambayo inatumika katika pengine in large scale parking space itasaidia ita na ndivyo tu inatufanya pale